As much as we love lifting that 1000 kg weight to get inside the work space every morning, the next big challenge for us is to move those bulky tools around the work space. Now the heaviest one of which is our drill press sitting right in the corner and weighing no less than 70 kgs. Now by weight the drill press has to be the most powerful tool but since it's powered by an induction motor so it's the other way around. Needs a wake up call every time we turn the switch on and it might fall asleep if we are going to hook up anything larger than a 10 mm drill bit. Currently the induction motor is transmitting the power to the drilling chuck using a belt and pulley mechanism. Now the different combination of pulley on both ends is to achieve a variation in his speed and torque but none of them seems to work as expected so the only option we are left with is to swap the whole powerhouse. Now for this conversion we are going to use a brushless outrunner motor from an old hoverboard. It's dirt cheap and believe me it's got lots of torque which hopefully will help us to drive the chuck directly without the need of an additional gearing mechanism. So the first thing we need to do is to modify the motor so that we can attach it directly to the main drive shaft behind the drill chuck. Now as the pain rise we started sorting the wires through the motor. To drive the motor we are going to use an RC car speed controller that's rated at 150 amps and 6 cell. Whereas the motor is designed for 10 cell configuration so to achieve a moderate speed what we are going to do is to rewire the whole stator. Well this is a 3 phase brushless motor. Each phase runs across 3 sets and each set contains 3 poles. With this configuration it takes the current more time to travel across all 3 sets as they are connected in series. So what we have done is to connect all 3 sets in parallel allowing the current to complete each cycle within a short duration and thus increase the speed of the motor by 3 times as much the original speed. Here I would love to thank GLC PCB for making this project possible. Well, they are one of the largest PCB manufacturers in China and with the finest quality delivered right at your doorstep at an amazing price. So guys be sure to check out their website to order your customized printed circuit boards. The process is pretty much straightforward as shown on their website. The link to that is in the description given below. Next we started assembling the router to the shaft adopter and before we started assembling the new powerhouse. Time to rip off the older one apart.
Well guys with that being done our drill press is ready to run so let's test this thing out. Now the idea for this whole conversion has been a great success. With this powerful brushless motor and the rest of the setup we are able to produce plenty of power and operate this drill press cordlessly anywhere in our workshop. Now both of these things have not been possible with the previous setup so we are really happy with the overall results. Now there are some improvements that need to be made such as the top enclosure cover which is going to be printed with our 3D printer that is still in the shipping process. So we are definitely going to do another video which will help us to make some improvements that will definitely finish this whole thing and make it more convenient for our use. So I'll definitely see you soon in our upcoming project video. Till then take care.